our last morning at Aventura we are just checking out we're getting our bags downstairs which there are plenty of them our bag situation is a bit ridiculous we are gonna have to sort that out when we get to the other end because otherwise they won't allow us on the plane and we're checking out of here to go to the Polynesian I could not be more excited I cannot wait um, and then we are going to the boardwalk for the last night so we're gonna have an amazing last few days at Disney but we're gonna go because we want to go and make the most of our Polynesian experience and our Disney experience. Goodbye roommate 30. And yeah, this is our bags. Can we just take a moment for goodness sake? So the mad bag unload begins. Um, just to you note know as well, if you are crazy like us with this amount of luggage, make sure you get an Uber XL, not a regular one, because you'll never get all your luggage in. So when you select it, just make sure you get an Uber XL. <sighs> oh my God, I cannot believe we are home. I know I can't either. This this is not something that was planned. So this is absolutely crazy, exciting, and unexpected. So oh, we cannot wait. We've just left our bags with our services, so that's all done. And we need to head to check-in, which I think is on the... Oh, it's right here. Right here. Checking into the car. I'm so excited. Yay, I know, me too. I'm so excited. So we've just checked in. I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I had a little emotional moment there, and I actually genuinely felt like I was gonna cry. We just got checked in by the cutest person I have ever met in my life, um, Becky. She was literally just so cute. She was and amazing. There's another lady who she was talking to who was like walking around on a cane and apparently she has worked here since the Polynesian opened in 1971 and she lived in Hawaii and was a little girl when Pearl Harbor, um, obviously all the craziness happened and she remembers all that and she won't retire. She still comes in and works and I was literally just having like the craziest Disney feels moment and felt a little bit like I was gonna cry but <laughs> we are now all checked in and um, I'm having crazy emotional Disney feels we're about to go to the Magic Kingdom which is not gonna help it will only make it worse and also um, on our map she's just shown us we've got a lake view we are quite likely gonna be able to see the Magic Kingdom from our window let's go before I start crying and I was also just thinking I'm gonna take off my lay because I look completely like a maniac I've got Randall I've got this I've got sunglasses I look very extra I might need to lose the lay for Magic Kingdom but I'm keeping it on while we're in the poly because you know when in Rome monorail time and with the bag search here was hilarious I thought the guy was actually gonna like take the lining apart of Kate's rucksack and check like he was checking it for the longest time it was crazy and actually we saw a security dog and everything downstairs I don't know whether there's like reason for them to be a bit on edge today or something but anyway better safe than sorry we are here we've got our millennial pink ears these are from Mila Mouse and they've got the iridescent bow they are so cute and um, as always I will leave the code below so you can get 25% off her ears are amazing I've got my heart glasses we are just loving this we're so excited I cannot wait to get in here and as you come into the Magic Kingdom, they do have this one stand with the maps on. They used to have tons, but Disney are really trying to crack down on wasted paper and stuff like that. So if you do need one, you need to pick one up there because they're not everywhere like they used to be. I'm so happy to be home. Me too, this is amazing. Like I said, we enjoyed our time at Universal, but it is absolutely nothing like this. And like I said, I had an emotional moment even when we were checking in because I just can't, can't handle it. And you guys know me, I'm not a crier, but 
I actually did nearly cry because mainly because the cast member who checked us in was so cute but also just because I have all the Disney feels today. Food is very high on the priority list and also is Starbucks. I have not had any coffee this morning. We got a bit spoiled by Starbucks every morning in the hotel when we were at Aventura so we might stop and get one of those as well but I am just loving this. Magic Kingdom is amazing. There's nothing like it when you walk in. You know Epcot's my favourite park but the atmosphere here is something else. <laughs> I think we're going to go and get the fries of the month from Casey's because that's something we wanted to try. Also worth noting is the fact that I just almost lost my phone again. Um, you know me, I lose everything. I left it on the monorail and a very nice man <laughs> let Kate know because I'd already gone. I have a problem, I'm so bad at losing things. It's because Randall is not big enough to hold a phone. So if I have it in my hand, I will set it down and I will leave it there. I can't help it. I do try, but clearly not hard enough. And something to note is these little track lines. Just be careful because Kate just fell foul of that and fell down one. Um, they are kind of deep and you can twist your ankle, so just watch out for that. So today is going to be a snack heavy day. Snack number one. We are going to go and see what the fries of the month are. So Kate has a bacon mac and cheese dog which looks pretty good I have to say and I have the fries of the month which you can get at Casey's and it's always whatever topping is the like topping of the month for the hot dog you can get them the fries and this month it is poutine so we got some poutine fries. These fries did not look all that exciting but I loved them. They, the gravy was so nice. I was like absolutely loving that. Unfortunately this poor fry fell on the table so I couldn't eat that but to be honest I could eat it again. I'm not going to because we've got lots more snacks to get through today. How was yours? It's yeah. like a hot dog with mac and cheese in it. Can't really complain at that. Anything that's got mac and cheese on top. Bacon, Bacon. mac and cheese no less. Bacon mac and cheese. Indeed. Love a bit of mac and cheese. Oh yes we do. So we've just taken some pictures and yes I have changed my top. Kate and I are twinning with tall best friend and short best friend. I love these t-shirts. We're gonna get us a few photos because you know I am I am we compared to Kate. And then we need to head to Hollywood Studios for a Toy Story Mania Fast Pass at 110 between 110 and 210. So we will see how we get on there. Hopefully we'll make it. And I do still need some coffee so that might also have to have to happen. <laughs> She's at it again. So we need to go and get the churro ice cream sandwich because that is the closest. Then we'll cut through and get the Peter Pan float and the Cheshire cat tail and then I think that's probably all we're gonna be able to manage on the snack agenda. This weather today, it's not hot, but it's absolutely amazing. There's no clouds, it's a little bit cool. It's like perfection for walking around the park. And there are people who are full on in like coats, jeans. It's overkill people, it's not that cold. Okay, here we go. Let's make sure it's still on the menu. Vanilla ice cream churro sandwich, there it is. And it is available as a snack credit, so we will see if it's nice or not. If it is, it's probably a good use of a credit. And this is at Sleepy Hollow, by the way. So when you're at Disney, do you ever take a moment to just like appreciate the ridiculousness of what you're eating, even though it is amazing? I'm having that moment. I am eating an ice cream churro sandwich. It is enormous. I've had to just kind of pick it apart, take the churro off and eat the ice cream. It's so good, but it's massive. And I was just thinking, Compared to what I eat on a normal day, this is crazy, but I'm loving it. We are making a stop at Friar's Nook. We are burning through these snacks this morning. So we have our pizza pan float, which I'm about to try. Ooh. What's that red feather made out of? So the red feather, I think, is white chocolate. You've got Sprite in the bottom, and then this is lime soft serve. So it's very much like a Dole Whip, but it's a lime version. And um, this is so nice. I love it. I can highly recommend this. This is amazing. It's very, it's not too sweet. It's quite tangy. I am loving this Peter Pan float and we are just going to go and get Kate a Cheshire Cat tail because she is a Cheshire Cat fan and we wanted to try that out as one of the snacks. So it is a perfect snack for her. Have I lost her again? Yeah, there she is. Oh, there's Pooh. We are sat here just next to the Cheshire Cafe. Um, Kate is just eating her Cheshire cattail. 
and you could just see Pooh disappearing off up there. If you stand in this little area here, the characters go in and out from there. So even though you wouldn't get to sort of stand there and take pictures with them, if you just want to see them, this is a perfect little spot to lurk and then you might see some characters. Next on the agenda, we are going to get some photo pass pictures. There is some music reaching the crescendo behind me. I'm going to shout over it. I think there's a, oh, there's a stage show happening. And we just met a viewer, Bobby. It was really great to meet you, so hi if you're watching. And um, hopefully we can grab these photo pass pics, get a coffee, and then head out. So this is probably it for Magic Kingdom for this trip. We are just having our coffee on the way out and heading to Hollywood Studios, but I'm not sure we're gonna get back. So it's bye bye to Magic Kingdom from us. It's been so good to us as always. We've had an absolute blast in the Magic Kingdom this trip. I've actually really loved it. We've been here quite a lot, so yes, I cannot wait to come back in May. And Kate has been second photographer today. She's been taking loads of amazing pictures. are just walking from the bus to Hollywood Studios there is all kinds of construction there are sounds there are smells of tarmac or something similar and you can see the Skyway is really really coming along I think it's gonna be open next I don't know if it's summer or like late summer I don't know somewhere around there I think we are just heading into Hollywood Studios to so go and ride Toy Story Midway Mania. That's really, actually I don't think it's Midway Mania anymore, maybe just Toy Story Mania. And um, that's pretty much the only reason we're here because we had this Fast Pass scheduled when we thought we would still be at Aventura and just here for the day. So that is what we are doing. And then we're gonna head back and check into our room at Polly, which I'm so excited for. If you ever see a cast member with their hand in the air, don't go to that one because it means they're asking for guest services because there's a problem. So avoid. Little, little cheeky photo pass on the way but then we do need to get over to Toy Story Land pretty sharpish. This popcorn stand is where you get the um, Toy Story alien dressed as Santa the popcorn bucket. I really want to get it but when I say that our luggage is maxed out I am not kidding. I sort of thinking to myself could I get it in the bag and fill it with stuff I don't know but oh what do I do? Oh there's some serious Star Wars business. Oh my gosh it's dark. It's everybody. There's Ray, Chewie. That was a very lucky encounter with the Star Wars characters. Sometimes if you're in the right place at the right time, you can see some good, you can't meet them and talk to them or get photos and stuff, but we saw everyone at once. That was pretty neat. I think they were coming out for the little stage show thing that happened. Welcome to the backyard. I love this area. It's a shame it's always so busy, but at the moment for Hollywood Studios, the Star Wars stuff isn't open. So this is definitely the busiest area because you know it's the, the main attraction, I would say. I don't know if you guys can see this, but look at the crowd. I don't know, I do pretty bad sometimes. If any of you remember what the bus driver said the other day, because he gave us some tips. Oh, he did, yeah. I think I was a bit sleepy, I wasn't 100% listening. So that 
is done. We are so, so, so happy to have been back at Disney today. That was really fun and that's the only ride we've really done so far today. We're gonna to try and do some more at Animal Kingdom later, but we're gonna head back to the Polynesian to enjoy our room because sometimes you can just, you know, feel like you've only just got there and then you're checking out. And the theming in all of Toy Story Land is just amazing. Like everywhere you look, it's just so cool. Like up here where they have the lights strung up it's strung onto a straw because the whole concept is that Andy has built all of this in his backyard so it's just so amazing so well thought out and just fantastic I'm kind of bummed that we didn't see Toy Story Land at night I would have loved to have seen all of these lights on but that is something for next time you can't do everything on every trip that is one thing to remember I hear the army men We're just gonna head into here because there is something I need to pick up for somebody. Um, it's a gift that they want for someone else for Christmas. So let's see if they have it in here. I'm not too worried if I can't find it because we're going to the World of Disney at Disney Springs tomorrow. So we'll be able to find it there, I'm sure. And if you like a big mug for your coffee in the morning, they have you covered because this is huge. I don't know if you can kind of tell how big that is. This is not doing it justice, this is massive. And there is a lot of Star Wars merch everywhere in preparation for the opening next year. And we were just talking about when we think it's gonna open. It's, they're saying late fall, which I take to mean November, from, I, I think, like mid to late November, I think is realistic if you're thinking about planning a trip for the Star Wars stuff. But I cannot guarantee that. I absolutely love these things, but I really don't have the space in my luggage. I'm very disappointed. I do you have them in small packets, but I'm assuming this is not the price because that would be quite upsetting if these were 9 dollars I wanna get these. An enormous tour group of teenagers has just flooded in, so I'm not sorry we're leaving, if I'm being totally honest. And if you want mugs, they have mugs. Oh my goodness. Becky, calm down right now if you're watching this because I know you're going to be freaking out. And I've never seen a Pocahontas mug before. That is actually really nice. And it is $13.99. Okay, I actually desperately want this, but it's not going to fit in my luggage. Oh no. I really want it though. Okay, as much as it hurts me, I'm going to leave the mug because I don't think I can honestly get it in the luggage. But. If I think there's room, I will pick it up at World of Disney. So we are exiting Hollywood Studios for the last time this trip, and then this evening is Adam Kingdom, and then tomorrow is Epcot. So all four parks in the last two days. We just kind of nipped in to spend a little bit of time in each park. This evening, we are hoping to get to Animal Kingdom right at closing, so we can maybe ride the two rides in Pandora. That is the hope, fingers crossed. So we will see how that works out later. But for now, it is goodbye Hollywood Studios for this trip and we will see you in May. Looks like the Polynesian and Grand Floridian share a bus stop here, and it was the furthest away one from the park, so we just had a little bit of a walk there, but that's fine. But yeah, just be aware that if you've been used to Hollywood Studios where the buses are right outside the park, that is not the case anymore, especially if you are the furthest away. So just be prepared for that if you're kind of exhausted that you will have that little walk at the end. And one other thing to note on this trip, the Wi-Fi has been really quite bad. When I was here last time in May, it was pretty good. There was the odd day here and there, but this time it's been really bad. Like today, I've barely been able to get internet in either Magic Kingdom or in Hollywood Studios. It's just been very in and out. Like it will seem like it's gonna connect and it connects for like two seconds and then it's gone again. You definitely wouldn't be able to live stream or you know, speak to somebody on Skype or anything like that. It just really sucks. It's okay in the hotel. I think it's just in the parks. It seems to be really dodgy. So I don't know what is up with that, but it's not good if you want to post on social media because it just keeps going in and out. And with my phone package, I can pay five pounds a day to get internet, but that's kind of a lot over a two week trip. I don't want to do that every single day. And it runs from midnight to midnight. So if you get to like 5 p.m. and you want to switch it on, you then don't get much use out of it. You would want to do it first thing in the morning, but check with your provider kind of what the situation is with that because it's different for everybody. For Kate, for example, her package includes it, but you've noticed it kind of um, It's much you down. slower. It did say that um, it wasn't subject to a limit, but it could, they could slow you down during busy times. And to be honest, for me, I'd rather have paid for it. Yeah. Have decent internet than what I've had because a lot of times you couldn't even use it at all. No, you can't even send a message or something. So, boo to all forms of internet on this trip. 
except actually at Aventura, the upload speed for my Vlogmas videos, I would set it to upload and it would be done within like five minutes. So that was pretty good to be fair and that was free internet as well. 20 minutes later. We are in Mo Moria, which we're just laughing because my maiden name is Moore and my first name is Victoria. So this in front of us is the building that Becky and I were in this time last year. So we're a little further away from the main building. However, we are thinking that we have a possible Magic Kingdom view towards the castle, which would be incredible. But this isn't right, is it? Might be over there. Okay, because that sign definitely said this way. This building is actually quite far from the main building. So that's in some ways not the best thing if you're trying to get buses and things like that. But it's good in terms of getting to the ticket and transportation centre because you can just walk there and then get to Epcot. So that's quite nice. Or if you want to get the monorail to Magic Kingdom, you'd probably be quicker to walk there and pick it up than walk back to the main entrance. Yeah, see it says monorail this way. So that's actually quicker than going to the main lobby. I think we found it. And we've got our little Disney Vacation Club rug. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I could just, oh, it smells amazing. Oh, someone's got special treatment. Welcome home. That's very cool. But I bet we haven't got one of those. I didn't like it. I don't know. We're, we're not special enough. Oh, I think we are looking directly at one of the bungalows and the Magic Kingdom. Oh my gosh, yes we are. Oh my gosh. So these are the bungalows. That is Space Mountain. You can see the ferry going across. And this is our room, which is amazing. So nice. Then you've got a nice table and chairs. And I am very excited because there is a comfortable chair. That is something we haven't had so far in any of the resorts and this is a pull down bed which I will show you and Becky tested it out last time and you can actually get an adult on this bed it's got a little light and Lilo and Stitch it is a small little single bed but even so and Polynesian Village private dining we will be ordering Ohana room service later which is everything and the best part about these DVC villas so you have your toaster coffee maker fridge little sink and microwave and everything there. Then we have one bathroom in here which has um, a walk-in shower, then you've got your sink and your mirror and everything there. Then if we go down here, there is a very large second bathroom, which as you can see is huge for a Disney room. Then you've got another mirror, hello and a shower over the bath and the toilet is in here so only one toilet but you do have two showers and like getting ready areas which is amazing and in here is the closet and then you have a full length mirror there i can't believe we will be able to see fireworks from our room what the heck we will have to make sure we're back from animal kingdom for that because that's incredible and you can see the grand floridian so our luggage just got delivered i still can't quite <laughs> get my head around how this has happened but i think we're going to pretty much not unpack any of this because we're going to the boardwalk tomorrow and then we will figure it out at the boardwalk because all we can take on the plane is this the two big ones this one and this one so basically these bags need to not exist and we have to get everything into these so good luck to us basically so it's now getting dark i have my little tiki guy lamp on and i've just been editing vlogmas and it's looking really nice out here the ferry is just coming in but there's a little chill in the air may have to put some jeans on for this evening and a jacket but look at this these bungalows are just stunning got the tiki torches you can see space mountain over there we are so excited to hang out here this evening eat ohana room service watch the fireworks could a disney day get much better than that we have already done magic kingdom and hollywood studios today and we're going to do animal kingdom so what a day but yeah this is just perfect i'm going to go and throw some more clothes on though because I'm not someone who gets cold, it's even a little cold for me. So Kate has just returned and proof that we did have a dull Whip. I'm gonna have a tiny taste of Kate's because I had the Peter Pan bloat earlier. Which I have to say is not a patch. It's, it's not a dull, it's not a dull it's, Whip, no. It's like lemonade, if you like lemonade it's great, but yeah, not a patch on this bad boy. But let's face it, is anything ever. Let's give it a little whirl because I haven't had any in this trip. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, yeah. 
So we are headed back out to go to Animal Kingdom to try, fingers crossed, to get on to Flight of Passage and Lovely River Journey around closing time. And Orlando can't make his mind up at the moment. It is literally really hot one minute and freezing cold the next. Well, freezing cold's an exaggeration, but very cold the next. Oh, look at my ears. <laughs> we won't miss each other if we can't find each other okay, in the park. Right. <laughs> like, look for the lights. I just love the torches at um, the Polynesian just gives it a very very nice atmosphere so the bus is here for animal kingdom we just had a very random experience another one came 10 minutes ago and they were letting on a wheelchair i think it was so the usual thing happened the driver lowered the ramp down and everything and everybody else waits which is cool so he got let the people on um, and also like their party who was with them and he shut the side door went back up to the driver's seat and then normally they would open the door to let everyone else on and he just drove off and we were like uh what just happened <laughs> we were just stood there like uh okay so this is another one that's come along 10 minutes later so we are definitely going to make sure that we get on this time we're ready we're right by the door so it doesn't leave without us so we are back in animal kingdom we had a somewhat trying bus journey uh, so we were quite glad when that was over because polynesian to animal kingdom is one of the longer journeys and we just had some interesting neighbours on the bus and got called a loser by a small child. So that was nice. After being hit with, After a, being lightsaber. Hit with a lightsaber. So <laughs> that was excellent. Anyway, moving on from that. I should mention it's also an hour before closing of this park so people are leaving in their droves the danger of vlogging in the dark with people going towards you and you're going against the crowd as you can imagine i need to be a bit careful i don't think i'm in focus vlogging will resume in a moment so we are back in what is quite possibly the most magical part of any park at night time and it can be hard to see so at the moment you guys are probably just Excuse seeing me tons of darkness and people coming towards us so this is pandora at night time and it's amazing like i said it just doesn't even do it justice on the camera because yeah kate is seeing it for the first time at night and it's pretty amazing yeah it really is incredible especially the floating mountains they look incredible we are obviously here to see if we can ride the rides as well at the moment they're still showing as a pretty horrible wait time and tons of people were leaving the park but everyone who's left in the park is very likely going to be in here i am literally just shining ears and you can't even see me so we got a photo pass picture in front of the fountain on floating mountain oh that rhymes and we are just going on navi river journey it says 95 minutes so i'm not sure if i believe it but we'll see what happens and i've never actually been through the standby line for this ride i've only ever done first pass okay we decided to abort the plan we are out of the navi river journey line and we are headed to the flight of passage line because we definitely want to ride that no matter what so we figured it's a bit of a risk there's only half an hour left of the park being open if we don't get this ride done in time then we won't be let into the line so that is what we're doing this ride is amazing but obviously it's no flight of passage and this is kind of our last shot to ride it i'm really sorry that you can't see anything apart from just colors and kate's ears probably that's about it 20 minutes later
Okay, I've had to turn my lights off and stop walking because we're having the worst focus issues. So in the end, we got out of the line for flight of passage and back into the Navi River Journey line, which seems crazy, but the line was right back on flight of passage to the, the front of the standby. And it, it was gonna be, the, I think, the whole hour and whatever it was, or two hours or something. Two and a half hours at one stage. Yeah, and for us, having the room at the Polynesian, one thing we were so excited for is getting our Ikana room service, watching the fireworks from our room, and we would have just been stressing about not getting back on time. We didn't so. want to waste the DVC points at all. No. You know, when, when we spent those points, we wanted to at least enjoy it. Enjoy the room when it's only for one night. So we got to ride Navi River Journey, which Kate loved as well, and I loved that ride. So at least we did that, and we haven't done that yet this trip. And now we are going to get the bus back and Eat. get our Ohana on. I'm so excited. We are back at the Poly. I am not very good at navigating my way around in the dark, but Kate seems to know where she's going, so that is good. Few inches later. We're a little bit lost again. This is not the easiest thing in the dark because it is pretty dark. I feel like this evening has been a very, very dark evening. If you go to the Magic Kingdom at night, other than when the fireworks and stuff are happening, you can see pretty well. But I feel like in Animal Kingdom, it's very dark, very, very dark, especially in Pandora and like this resort. Obviously this is mood lighting, we've got the tiki torches, but it also means if you're unfamiliar, then you might end up walking around and everything looks the same in the dark. So right. through here we can see Cinderella Castle and it's all lit up for Mickey's very merry Christmas party and we are facing that in our building. And I can hear the electrical water pageant trundling along. I love that they still have that. And several people have their Christmas lights up on their um, DVC room. I can't imagine having enough points or money to stay here long enough to put up Christmas lights. So they are very lucky. Oh, the smell in this resort is so good. And I've forgotten our room number down here. I don't know why I'm whispering, it's not that late. So I can hear the electrical water pageant, but I can't actually see it because I think it's behind the Bora Bora bungalows. So, yeah, you can see the castle just there and um, Space Mountain there, so we're gonna have a very nice view for the fireworks. But unfortunately, I cannot currently see the water pageant. So if I do spot it out the window, I will show you. So we are back in the room in, well, I would say PJs. This is just kind of a t-shirt I was wearing earlier. But other than that, we are in PJs and just relaxing. It was really good to go to Animal Kingdom. I'm glad we did it. I'm kind of bummed we didn't do Flight of Passage, but it just was not going to work out. I didn't vlog much while we were there because it was so dark and so crowded with people leaving as we were coming in. You just really couldn't see anything. And I was kind of trying to dodge people. I didn't want to you know walk into anyone or anything like that so yeah we just did navi river journey i'm glad we did that because we ended up doing one of them i feel like if we'd have got in line for flight of passage still it would have now. yeah i feel like we'd still be there it would have got so late that we would have worried about missing the fireworks watching them from our room and we just would have then done neither also did you hear that? That is the Magic Kingdom ferry. It's really quite loud because you can see the, I think I showed you earlier, it's right there where people get on the ferry at the Ticket and Transportation Centre to go across. But I quite like it because it's a Disney sound. So we are waiting for our Ohana room service, which I can't wait. We're actually quite hungry. We did eat snacks in the Magic Kingdom, but that was pretty much our food for the day. We haven't eaten any sort of meal today, so... We are excited for some Ohana food and the good thing is you can customise it so we're basically just getting chicken and the pot stickers because we're not interested in the steak, the shrimp or the chicken wings so <laughs> that is just how we roll. Luckily Kate feels the same so we'll probably just get tons of chicken and pot stickers which sounds like a dream to me. So yeah we will eat that and then watch the fireworks and I'll obviously show you what we can see of the fireworks from here and the food when it gets here. I am super excited. But other than that, we're just gonna relax this evening. I've already edited Vlogmas, so thank goodness I don't have to do that. Um, I don't say that, I'm, I know that sounds like I'm saying it's a total chore, it's not. It's just the fact that when you're at Disney, it's very tiring during the day and we have been quite full on. And then I'm trying to edit at like 11, 12 o'clock at night and I'm falling asleep about 70 times while I'm trying to do it. So it's nice that I already have it done. Food is here. Oh my gosh. So we just got chicken and pot stickers. This isn't, I don't think this is right. We wanted extra pot stickers. That can't be an extra portion of pot stickers.
well. Certainly to be able to watch it from our room definitely was something. Wow. So I'm just having a little moment taking in this music and feeling bad that we're going home tomorrow.